Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about Olivia Grace 24 Karat Gold Rejuvenating Sheet Mask. I recently picked these up on a shopping trip a couple weeks ago. So basically, it was like a set of five sheet masks in a box, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I used one so far, and this is what it looked like when I took it out of the package. It was a little hard to take apart, I can tell you that much, and it wasn't really what I expected. So stay tuned, I have a little more like share. So hi everybody, this is actually what the box looks like. As you can see, it's very, very golden color. And the company is called Olivia Grace Boutique. And right now that I was doing some searching online, trying to find a link, I only found one from eBay. So I'll post that so you guys can at least look at the products, or at least the product itself. So as I mentioned, it's just basically a... So I don't blind you guys because of my ring light. It's basically like a sheet mask and it comes in a little bag. So let's try this experiment and we'll see what happens. I tried it once already. The only thing that I can say that I was kind of disappointed with at this point was that I was kind of expecting it to be gold. Because you know how most of the sheet masks that say they're gold have some sort of a gold tint to them. I've, I've tried um, the under eye masks that or like that goldish collagen color, or they're gold and they, they're made out of collagen. So let's open this and let's see what happens. Let's hope I don't make a mess all over my desk, but you know, we'll figure it out. So the first thing that I noticed when I opened it, the first package that I opened, it is kind of golden hue, but we'll see if the camera can pick it up right now when I take it out of the bag. And as you can see, it's all folded up and as you can see, it does have kind of like a goldish hue to it. It looks kind of, it's very, it's moist. I don't want to say slimy because slimy is the wrong word, but it's, it's very saturated. Let's put it that way. Let me take my glasses off. And as you can see, it's folded up. So you kind of have to grab a corner to try to unpeel it. And eventually you see. the face. This is kind of a little weird. So here we go. So I assume this is the way you put it on because it's it's a moist side and a not so moist side. So we'll try it this way and we'll see what happens. But I think it's actually this this way. Could you see the tabs curl under or inward? So let's see how this works. So basically what you do is you try to line it up on your face the best way you can. Try not to eat any of this stuff either. And as you can see, it fits okay, I guess. You just kind of fix it. And the directions say that you're supposed to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, but we'll leave it for a few minutes just to give you guys the example of what it looks like. And it, it works. Again, you have to kind of adjust it to fit your needs. And it seems to be okay. I just kind of have to fix it. This one was a little better than the other one. The, the first one that I took out of the package actually tore while I was trying to put it on. So you just kind of smooth it out the best way you can and you get the gist of the idea. So what I can tell you is what you do feel is you feel that it's very, very moist. It has a bit of a floral scent to it almost kind of, I hate to use the word soapy, but it does smell a little soapy. This one does anyway. Um, and it's cooling to the skin. Oh, just as an FYI, you're supposed to use this on cleansed skin. So I did clean my skin. I did wash my face earlier prior to this video. And again, you're supposed to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So just as an example, we'll pretend that I left it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So what you do when you're done is you just peel it off. And you rub in any excess serum that's on your face into your skin. And as a uh, friend suggested, you can also use your mask to condition your neck when you're done. So you can just kind of leave it there for a few minutes. So all in all, it was an interesting, it was a very interesting product. 
What I can say for the most part is that my skin did look a little better. When you do leave it on for the 10 to 15 minutes, you do start to feel the mask dry and you do start to feel it tighten a little bit. So it does leave your skin tight and it does leave your skin hydrated, which was good. I just kind of thought it was a little messy. But anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And once again, let me grab the box. This was the Olivia Grace Boutique's 24 karat gold rejuvenating sheet mask. Let me take the packet out so you guys can hopefully see it a little better. And let's hold it at an angle so you guys hopefully can read it. Sorry about that. It's a very pretty package, but it's just extremely hard to read. Um, and I'll add the link that I found for to the products down below so you guys can at least have a little more information on it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Have a good rest of your day.